Lou de Bono, he just spoke to the captain of his prawn trawler, Don Gibson. The job on that boat's gone, but Don is going to be captaining a new boat as of next week. And there's a job on that if you're interested. Seriously? What you've written is wonderful. You can shut down a development site, we can send people to jail, but we can't bring back those who died, nor change the fact that those with cancer will continue to suffer. I know that Hugo and Xavier are coming tomorrow, but is this really the best time for them to be staying with us? Yeah, no, no, it's OK, it'll be fine. The uh, DNA testing showed that the bullet we found was the one that killed Jack. It was Angelo? Yes. So whatever he's eventually charged with, murder or manslaughter, you can rest assured that he's going to be put away for a very long time. Oh, thank you, Charlie. You don't know what this means. What are you up to? I'm oh, just making some room for Hugo and Xavier. That's a good idea. How are you feeling now? Oh, yeah, a bit better. At least I don't have to worry about the trial anymore, you know. Angelo's going to get the punishment he deserves. What are you doing with this? Just making some room. You don't honestly think you can hide every reminder of Jack from me, do you? No, no, of course not. I just, I know how special it is to you. You've had it all this time. It's hard to believe, you know. Just seems like Jack's 21st was yesterday. Did I tell you I was going to crack it when we launched the boat? Yep, Jack told me too. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Summer Bay. Come on in. These are for you, for putting up with us. Oh, thank you. They're lovely. So how, how was you on our trip down? Yeah, you're fine. You go drives like an old man. <laughs> Now, I promise you we won't be in your hair for too long. We'll sort out something permanent, quick, smart. Oh, come on, mate. You know, you boys are welcome to stay as long as you need. June is pretty happy with him coming back to Summer Bay. I think it's going to be good for him, and she's very, very happy to have the pair of you back together. But outside there, you have to fight over the rooms. Annie, I'm stoked that you like it, but you don't have to save it. Of course I do. It's going in the fridge at home. Yes, doll, we are very proud of you, but there are still some tables outside that aren't going to clear themselves, and unless, of course, your back's still playing. Oh, I uh, know, like I say, pain's under control. So good to see Belle back to her old self. Yeah, she's one tough chick, that's for sure. Yeah, I know, after all that stuff that happened with Angela in the last few months. Hey! Uh, what are you doing back here? We moved here. What? My big bro's genius idea. Gee, that's nice. I don't even get a hug, Ruby. How are you? Guess we'll be seeing each other around. Yeah, I thought you said last week that you were totally over him, so what does it matter anyway? Well, it matters now that he's moving here, doesn't it? Looks like Xavier's made himself at home already. Oh, it's fine. Maybe you shouldn't have to clean up after him. Oh, messy teenager, I think I can handle it. Listen, are you sure you're up to having house guests at the moment? It's just that we know that Xavier can be a bit of a handful and there's obviously a bit of tension between him and Hugo. I just thought it might be an idea if they stayed at the caravan park just till they find something else. Rach, they're my sister's kids. OK, they're my own flesh and blood. I'm not going to chuck them in a van. And Hugo's made this move up here just to help Xavier get his act together and I've got to support that. Besides, they're young guys, they're not going to want to hang around here too long, are they? Yeah, you're probably right. Look, I love the fact that you're concerned. I really do. But I'm OK, really, especially after this morning. Besides, Hugo's actually a bit of a godsend, you know, because he's offered to work at the bar. And between Alf, Martha and myself lately, it's been a little hard to man the joint. All right, but the, the minute that you start to feel uncomfortable about them being here, you let me know. I will, I will. Good. Well, I, I have to run some errands, so do you need anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. I think I might take advantage of the silence while I can. All right. Oh, Rachel. Hi. Hi. Have you got a second? Um, sure, sure. Look, I, I kind of got the impression earlier that you weren't too thrilled about me and Xavier coming to stay. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was for you to feel uncomfortable. It's just Tony's been under a lot of pressure lately and it's sort of been one heartache after another. And now with the baby coming, I 
think I'm just aware of not wanting to put any extra stress on us than is necessary. Yeah, I, I totally understand. And believe me, we w won't be adding to your problems. You and Tony won't even know we're there. I promise. Sandwich courtesy of Summer Bay High. Yeah. How's the meeting go? Yeah, went well. Martin's got some big plans for the year. I'd usually be psyched about it, but I just can't manage it right now. I know what you mean. But thanks for dropping this round. Uh, you better get a wriggle on, eh? Why? Well, Melody said you called her earlier and you want to meet her at 12 now. No. No, I said I was meeting her at 3. Uh, great. Even the flaming kids are having a lend to me now. What are you doing here? I wanted to have a shower before the interview. Right, and that takes you three hours to get ready, doesn't it? Yeah, I wanted to blow dry my hair. Melody. Look, the smell at the bait shop makes me feel ill. And that gives you the right to lie to Mrs. Stewart? I'm in the way there anyway. Have you noticed how down Mrs. Stewart's been lately? Yeah, so? Oh, you have. And do you know why? Because someone who is very fond of deceived him. And now someone who he cares very much about and lives here lied to him too. Now, can you imagine how that can make someone feel? I just wanted to leave early. And what's with you deliberately disobeying me again? It's exactly what I told you about last week. Now, this will not continue. This behaviour will stop. Do you understand me? You will go down to the bait shop and you'll apologise to Mrs Stewart and you will wait there until I pick you up. Now, go. 